Hi guys, this is Hyde. Today I'm going to be talking about how to install Ubuntu 21.04 or any other Ubuntu on your PC. Installing Ubuntu is not a complex procedure but it can give you trouble if you do anything wrong or any, take any wrong step. So I'm going to show you step by step how to install Ubuntu. So try to follow every single step carefully and perfectly. So without any further ado, let's start. First of all, you have to download uh, Ubuntu. It's uh, completely free. You can download it from official website. Uh, the time I'm making this video is uh, 21.04. So let's download the latest version. You can download any version because uh, this video is going to work on any version. As you can see, there's some instruction how to make uh, bubble USB. Uh, you can follow this instruction or I'm going to show you how to make bubble USB. Uh, using Windows, uh, but if you are using Ubuntu, you can you know use this application, this process. Uh, it's very easy. Just uh, follow these steps, and uh, so let's see how you can make Bubble USB from Windows. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make Bubble USB using Power ISO. Uh, you can uh, use a Power ISO or Rufus. I'm also gonna show you how you can do that using Rufus. Let's see your uh, choice, uh, which application you're gonna use. Uh, it's completely okay. So after downloading, uh, uh, you can download any of them. After downloading, you need to install it. Uh, as I'm using free version, I need to wait for a second. After that, uh, just uh, hit uh, tools, then uh, create bubble USB. Now you have to select your USB drive. Uh, I'll suggest to use at least 4 GB or more and then download, uh, use your uh, downloaded uh, ISO file and open it. As I'm as saying, uh, you can uh, use any version here, any version of Ubuntu. After that, uh, you just need to start start that process. Uh, it will take time, uh, depends upon your uh, USB speed. So after that you can see uh, it made our uh, USB only 1 MB or 2 MB. So we're gonna fix it. Don't freak out. It's uh, completely fine. We're gonna fix it uh, later. Uh, so let's see how we can make bubble USB using Rufus. Um, uh, if you already did that uh, uh, using a power ISO, you don't need to follow this process. I'm just showing you how you can do that using Rufus. That's it. So after installing, you just need to open it and uh, select your USB and uh, select the ISO file that you downloaded from Ubuntu official website and uh, make keep everything default. I think default is okay and then uh, make Google USB as I already did that. I'm not going to do it here if, again. Uh, after that, you need to restart your PC um uh, and you need to boot from your USB drive and find out a way how you can do that. It's a uh, very easy if you're using a uh, uh, gigabit motherboard then it's f12 it uh, actually it varies uh, you need to find out a way after that you will see that uh, windows um, from here you can uh, install ubuntu uh, just uh, select the language then uh, install ubuntu you can try ubuntu without installing it's completely fine um, and then uh, select your keyboard language and then uh, you should uh, I think you should uh, select all of these um, downloaded updates and install that party but it's not gonna work if you don't have any internet so it's completely uh, it's not mandatory you can uh, skip that part uh, uh, you can uh, update your uh, operating system later so let's go forward so here as you can see we have two options now uh, we can uh, select a erase drive or something else if you select erase drive it's gonna completely erase your uh, drive so don't do that if you don't, uh, don't wanna lose everything uh, select uh, something else then continue and here is the most important and I, I will say the crucial part uh, if you do anything wrong it's gonna uh, you're gonna suffer later so uh, be careful with that um, here you will see all of your drive uh, here listed here as I'm using a virtual machine uh, so I only have one drive um, here and I'm gonna install it there um, 
uh, in your case you will see uh, all of your drive here so just select uh, or delete uh, the drive where you want to install your um, ubuntu uh, as you can see i'm gonna uh, delete that drive uh, that is uh, 20 gb uh, i'll recommend you to allocate at least 30 gb there because uh, uh, you will need uh, space later so use at least 30 gb or more uh, if you can it's better to use 50 gb at least uh, but it will work if you use 20 gb as i have only one drive i'm gonna delete that drive and make some space as you can see i have uh, i made that space now. so now let's uh, uh, create a new drive to install ubuntu there and you need to select uh, ext4 journalizing file system and uh, mount point for slash that's mean uh, root drive so here uh, if you select that uh, for slash it's gonna uh, your ubuntu gonna install there and uh, keep the size at least uh, as i said uh, 30 gb or uh, it's uh, better to use 50 gb but it will work if you uh, uh, give only 20 gb here and uh, leave every other drive uh, there uh, without touching so if you delete any other drive it's gonna delete your uh, uh, data so don't delete any other drive uh, where your uh, important data are stored and also if you want to make another drive uh, it's uh, recommended to use at least uh, another uh, create another drive for home home so you can do that um, i'm not going to do it here uh, uh, but uh, ubuntu will work if you don't make any home drive so i'm gonna, not going to do it the next step you need to select a bootloader um, try to keep it default uh, you, by default it will select your whole drive so if if it's not uh, try to select the whole complete drive hsd or ssd whatever you are using you're using and after if, if you uh, click continue then you will see that warning you were uh, all of the change you were making then uh, then you select your area and then continue and create your account uh, for your ubuntu and after that just hit continue and ubuntu will in be installed in your uh, computer so uh, it's gonna take time that depends on your uh, drive speed or your uh, ubuntu, uh, usb speed and after that you will see that message uh, to restart your computer and just uh, hit restart and uh, remove your usb drive log into your system so that's all uh, now you have successfully installed ubuntu on your system so now let's see how to clean your usb drive so how to you know, get your uh, usb drive back so to do that you will need uh, power iso again i'm showing you in the that in windows system but it's also available for ubuntu or any other linux operating system so run it as administrator and wait for a moment then continue unregistered and then tools then clean usb drive and then choose your usb drive then hit the clean button and okay so that's it uh, after a moment uh, you will see your drive is cleaned and now you have to format this drive again and then start then okay your drive is back you can see i have uh, my so if you successfully installed your ubuntu now it's time to check out new video about uh, how you can make your ubuntu just like mac OS. Don't forget to check out that video, the link will be in the description below. Uh, it's completely easy, it takes some few steps to make your Ubuntu just like Mac. Uh, and that's it for today, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you do, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you didn't subscribe yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So that's it, see you later.